Hey guys, it's Lori. So, if you're following me really closely, you might notice that this is the same sweater that I had on yesterday. It's actually the same day, that's why. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, why not just make tomorrow's video right now? Because I've had a clip on my phone that I've been wanting to share with you guys for, I don't know, four days, something like that. So, I'm gonna share that clip with you. But first, I'm sitting at Dollar General, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. Yesterday's video was me and Chase going to Dollar Tree, and Chase did his little Dollar Tree haul, and we went. I went. I got some things Aldi and Walmart, but anyway, yeah. But I decided to stop at Dollar General this evening because it's just local to us, and the only reason I came here was because Brendan has a very congested chest right now. And so I figured I would stop and get him some Musinex, but it's actually the Dollar General brand because when I was sick with a sinus infection, John got me the brand name stuff, the Musinex, and I had already tried the, the um, Dollar General and I liked it so much better. So it, I really liked it better. So I went ahead and just bought him this kind. And I also picked up some deodorant for Chase. He needs some deodorant. He actually has some. I bought him some. It was before he moved out, but it wasn't the kind he wanted. So anyways, I just bought him the kind he wanted since they had it in there for three bucks. And I decided to buy myself some makeup, just some bronzer. I'll never use that little brush that's in there. I have my own brushes that I like, but beside the point, in the shower fresh, suave deodorant. That's a bad glare, but it's deodorant. It's Suave. It's a two-pack, and it was three bucks. I like Suave better than Secret. I used to use Secret and only Secret, but I'll tell you a secret. I like Suave better. <laughs> anyway, and I decided to try this LA Colors. It was only like, was this? I think this one was two fifty, and this was only a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, this was two fifty for this foundation. I'm gonna try it. Might not like it, I guess. If I don't, it's two fifty down the tubes, but I'll, I'll save it for a backup for in case I run out or something. I don't know. But I decided to also try some of the Soft Whisper. This stuff was in the dollar section, and it's 18 ounces. Yeah, it's a bonus size. You get 50% more free. Wicked Cherry Blossom and Sun. This stuff, it's body wash. It smells wonderful. I really like it. I love that smell. It smells great. I'm going to try it in my shower. Sometimes once you use it in the shower, it's like, eh, it wasn't that great after all. If I like it in the shower, they only had a couple left on the shelf. I might come back and get them. We'll see. <laughs> and the other thing I got that was 90% off was two scrapers with the snow brushes on them. They're not super long handles, but that's okay. I have a long handled one and I see that it is not in the van right now because it's probably in Brendan's truck. So he's going to get one and John's going to get one because John doesn't have a good scraper either. And I know he would appreciate having the brush too. So 90% off. I got those for 30 cents a piece and there's two or three left in the box. So yeah. And they have like the little short scrapers. That's just this part only with a short little handle on it. And those are 10 cents right now. So, so here is that clip that I've been waiting to show you guys. Hey guys, I just had to hop on and tell you what I just did. Okay. Chase works about five minutes. It takes about five minutes to get from my house to Chase's work, maybe six, seven minutes, depending, you know, if I have to wait on the red light. So anyways, he, he called me and he says, mom, do you have any postage stamps? Because there's a guy out here, he works at a truck stop, okay? He's a cashier, and he does maintenance sometimes too. Today, he's actually doing maintenance, but anyway, he um, he says there's a driver out here that needs a stamp, and he says, we don't sell stamps. So, do you have any stamps? I'm like, well, yeah, and he's like, well, he said he'll pay you like 10 or $15 if you run him a stamp out, because he needs it. He's desperate for a stamp. He has to have something mailed like right now. I'm like, all right, if he's gonna pay me like 10 or 15 bucks for my gas and my time or whatever, sure, why not? So I get there and he's standing outside with this truck driver and the truck driver comes up, they came walking right up to my van, I just put my window down 
and they were like, he has this yellow thing right here. I'm not going to show you like any information that's on it, but he's like, um, I got a parking ticket yesterday and he says, I have to have it mailed right now. And he says, I don't want this to, you know, be a bad mark on my CDL and blah, blah, blah. He says, you look like an honest person. He says, I've been talking to your son for a while. He says, can you take me to the post office to mail this? Well, I wasn't comfortable with that. I don't know this game, this guy, you know, I didn't want to get like kidnapped and, you know, sold to somebody in a different country or something. But anyway, <laughs> Hey, it happens guys. It does happen. So I'm like, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I said, I will take it and mail it for you if you want to trust me to do that. And he said, you look like a really honest person, ma'am. And I do trust you to do that. And he says, and I thank you for your time. He thanked me for my time and for the stamp and doing this for him by giving me $40. And he absolutely insisted that I take the $40. And I'm like, okay. He insisted because he said, my CDL is worth a lot more than $40 to me. If you could please just do this. He says, he says trust me, it's worth it. Yeah. He paid Chase, too. I'm not sure what he paid Chase, but he paid Chase something for getting hold of me. It's like, seriously? Um, I just made $40 by driving about 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes total by the time I get to the post office and home. You know, they're back, post office, home, mail, not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, so... And all I wanted was one stinking stamp and this thing dropped in the mail. I'm like, wow. I just had to share, you guys. I just had to share. Okay. Yeah, I just had to share that with you. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but that was, that was like really awesome. It's like, man, sometimes I think I should just go buy a lottery ticket every once in a while. But all right, that is it, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.